Sitara is an independent center of the institute. Uh, its purpose is to sensitize uh, technical professionals to the problem of rural India. Uh, one USP is that the students go and stay in uh, villages during peak summer for about nine weeks, which actually gives them uh, a grasp uh, of the rural reality. We now offer an academic program, MTech uh, and PhD in technology and development. In rural areas of India, agriculture remains to be a predominant occupation and will continue to be so. At the same time, malnutrition and prevalence is one of the major hindrances to the inclusive development within the country. We teach courses at Sitara such as agriculture, soils, food processing and nutrition. The faculty at Sitara firmly believe that integration of technology into farming and agro-processing is a need of the time. So through our core and elective courses, we are primarily looking at three things. One is value chain analysis of agriculture produce, bioenergy systems, and also uh, trying to develop waste to wealth concept. In addition, our students are also getting opportunity to do some hands-on work in bioprocessing facility that we have developed in Sitara. India is a large and diverse country and its problems need local solutions. At Satara, we train our MTech graduates in uh, the skills and perspective for sustainable development, sociological issues, uh, role of government, and technology. The kind of work we do can also be emulated by regional engineering colleges to deal with the, their local problems. And Satara faculty do work with them in the hope that this will happen. We try to understand the issues related to externalities of technology. In our quest for sustainability, is technology part of the problem or part of the solution. In the field of energy and environment, we try to understand what keeps people away from adopting the so-called greener and cleaner solutions. We at Sitara help the students build their skills through a course project management and analysis, where the student learns various skills like the logical framework analysis, the CPM PERT methods and financial analysis. We also teach students the Rural Environmental Services Design and Planning, where the students learn to design a water supply and a sanitation system for a village or a town through a case study approach. Perspective building is an important element in the MTech program. The development theory course provides a historical understanding of various theories with grounded case studies. For field orientation, there are five to six field trips per semester. We conduct winter and summer schools to help students formulate problems in context for arriving at specific solutions. Our last summer school on integrated sanitation planning in Kerala attracted more than 330 students from all over India. There is also the need to widen the perspective on the understanding of the relationships between society, technology and development. The idea that just science and technology influences society has now been challenged and we need to understand that the user is also very important in the technology development process. And this is what we try to communicate to the students, that understanding societal needs, context and users certainly helps in making technology development better and technology implementation better. I work mostly on water and food security issues, wherein I have a lab for hydrological modeling, remote sensing and data collection. The hydrological models give more input into water scenario situations and sustainable water use patterns. The Rudra, which is called the Rural Data Analytic Labs, looks at data, collects it, cleans it, and helps more in policy applications. The concepts, theories, and models of public policy making, public policy analysis, public policy implementation, public policy evaluation are discussed and explained in the public policy theory class. Also, uh, academic research methodology is taught in social science research method course so that a student can develop a master's level interdisciplinary research design and then carry out qualitative, quantitative or mixed method research. Micro, small, medium enterprise, that is MSME, 
is a backbone for livelihood and employment generation in the country. There is a need to strengthen MSME for its cash flow sustainability. I have developed a framework to analyze MSME for its cash flow sustainability. I teach this framework for methodical intervention in small businesses in a course called MSME in rural areas. Our students uh, get placed with uh, development agencies like uh, Bayef, Deshpande Foundation. They are also in some CSR areas. They work as fellows with Ministry of Rural Development, UNICEF. Of course, some of them go to the Boeing or HSBC. We don't mind that. Idea is to create uh, sensitized professionals who understand the problem of the bottom 80% of the uh, society. I think this is the job that we are in, creating professionals who can address the problems of rural India.